I thought I was done for the day. And uh, then we got a post, an update. Let's talk about it. Real changes to real-time arena battle pass. So, uh, I'm not going to read this because you have eyes and you can read too. I know you can. I believe in you. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just quick look at the changes that have been made, right? Uh, updated objectives. 225 knockouts is now worth uh, 1,350 down from 1,700. Uh, this sucks. I do not care about any other opinion or how it balances out. This sucks. It was easy for us as a community to obtain knockouts. It was easy for us to work together as a community to obtain knockouts. It was easy for us to obtain knockouts even if we were working against people who were trying too hard to win in a game mode that doesn't actually matter because it doesn't affect the size of your penis. I don't really care. The truth of the matter is they lowered the amount of reward to uh, far lower than it was before, but they are giving you L3 training modules. Thanks. I do appreciate the increase in those. I feel like the number should be 90, but irrelevant. Here's the point. Uh, 300, and, I'm sorry, 1,350 from 1,700. I don't care where we make those up. That was the best thing to do, and now it's not. So now let's look to see where we make up those uh, credits and if that matters, you know? First is use 150 abilities based on a random roll. Of course, the rolls are blaster, brawler, support, controller, you know, protector. So um, it was 250 and now it's 400 rating tokens. Well, that's more, right? That's good. And uh, the same number of ions, sure, whatever. So now the using 150 abilities uh, has gone up. We get more credits. That's great. Um, I won't ever argue that doing something uh, and getting more for something is great, so phenomenal. Use 150 abilities, random origin, uh, origin of course being bio, uh, mystic, mutant, brain fart, tech, uh, and skill. Um, and it, it, I think it's a random, it's not a random, it's a random character from that pool to my knowledge, but it could just be a um, random role because it doesn't any, say anything specific about characters. They did say they were removing characters, so it might be that, or it might be a combination of characters. Ultimately, uh, I think it's a reasonable um, ability, so I'm not going out of uh, my way to complain about it. And we've seen them before, so it shouldn't be an issue. 400 increased cool and then uh, 150 abilities for mixed traits now let me read on top if it says anything about what mixed traits means nope uh chasing high knockout shouldn't be necessary if you use a mix of characters and teams to better align the objectives here yeah so that i get it they're defining their battle pass closer to what they intended uh, i understand that mixed traits we got to imagine it's some like you said, mixed traits. Like maybe it's character specific, maybe it's um, organization specific, maybe it's another role, maybe it'll be an affiliation or a location, like global, something like that. Whatever. All they, all we know is that the updated objectives, these objectives now are give you more, uh, and very clearly, uh, if, assuming these are all available every week, because these are the weekly objectives. Assuming they're all available every week, and assuming that. Um, you know, the, you get all of them, you will get some more, uh, like 50 more over the course of a week for completing everything. So yes, it is worth more overall, which is irrelevant when it was super easy to complete knockouts, uh, for the average player, because you could just use Phoenix and X characters or Zemo and X characters. Knockouts was a very easy solution that the entire community could work together to achieve. Uh, now we just get less credits for that. It's not a good change, but it's a change and we understand why it was made. Then we have some new objectives. Use 600 abilities, random roll, for 900 ratings tokens. Uh, this does not come across as the kind of ability that would only be a daily. This comes across as a uh, weekly, right? So, 600 abilities for a random roll, random origin, random mixed traits. Just, if you will, imagine that roll is Blaster. And imagine you get Blaster. And you get to use 
Let's think of the blaster characters in the game. Ultron, Black Bolt, uh, Electro, you know, a pretty decent chunk of decent characters. Uh, and then your opponent, uh, his random roll for 600 is support. And you get Shuri, Doc Ock, Minerva, not even Mantis, she's a controller. You see how there might be an issue with using 600 random abilities for a roll if you're trying to ac accomplish the milestones? Now, yes, in an absolute perfect world, uh, the milestones are not something you grind towards. They'd be something that you accrued while playing through the game mode and enjoying the experience of the battle pass. But I've said many times, uh, the battle pass or the sparkly shiny pass for RTA nerds, um, as I like to call it, and the RTA game mode are two very decent separate entities that because they're linked together, they have anti-synergy, they're actually worth less than their individual values. When you look at anything, it has to be from a perspective of what am I get for what am I doing? Using 600 abilities, while it might be easier, you know, I can imagine that it's going to create a big separation uh, across the rosters of many players who just are going to try to complete the milestones. Because let's face it, winning in RTA, as of right now, just like last month, doesn't matter. There's nothing here. They, they changed the rewards, and they still haven't increased anything regarding winning. Knockouts were close, but at least you could do three knockouts in a loss and still progress. Here, nothing. This is no nothing. No major value, right? So they're increasing the amount of, of things you get for using characters that you probably don't want to use in a game mode that you're probably just going to click auto in anyway. Is that fun? Is that engaging? Do you care? I don't. I, nothing they're doing here is making me more excited about future battle passes or RTA. So we're going to need to start seeing what that event is and what those leagues look like before I'm going to think RTA is anything more than something I have to do to get random stuff, uh, regardless of what's in the battle pass. The last thing I want to point out is what's been removed. Uh, get They've removed 350 and 550 knockouts, which, <laughs> you know kind of made up the largest chunk of how you got value and one of the biggest reasons to play RTA for as long as you did because it was 1700 1500 and 1300 right just just some quick math on that it was 22 and a half uh weekly 22 and a half credits you you would get 22 0.5 tiers in your battle pass just from completing that. That's the math. It's 4,500 total divided by 200 because every stage was... is it? Oh, no. It's 250. I'm sorry. Eighteen. Apologies, guys. I'm not even going to cut it. Eighteen. So it was 18, right? To clear the, the, the battle pass. So this was 18. Now... Not only does the first stage, which was 1,700 uh, for knockouts, go down, right? It's 1,350 now, so it's less. 5.4 stages every week. Um, you don't get the extra stuff. Now, again, yes, none of us enjoyed knockouts, but it was something easy to do. The problem I see, and I'm not being overly critical. I enjoy what... They've added to the game. I don't think it's perfect. I said that before. I've been saying it. I think it's good. It's fine. They're not making this an enjoyable game mode. So they can have a choice. They can make this an enjoyable game mode. And they can remove um, a lot of the specificity around it. Like, use 150 abilities for a random roll. Well, honestly, make it a random two rolls. Make it a random three rolls. Make it a random two or three origins. Make it a random two or three traits. If you want players to be able to use their roster and have fun and exciting things and, and experience stuff and make the game less about knockouts and more about how to play the game, you, you can do that. The tools exist. Just do that.
but don't remove the ways players easily accomplish the battle pass. And I'm not even talking about the expensive, the $20 purchase for battle pass. I mean, the small stuff. We're stuck playing in this game mode if we want extra resources. Do you want to make it fun? Or do you want to make it harder to grind? Because all of the changes here, they come across as harder to grind. Now for me, obviously that's not true. Obviously I have every character unlocked except She-Hulk, and you know why. Uh, and I have plenty of characters invested at decent enough levels that I can put together any team and complete any accomplishment. And honestly, probably so can you. Most of the people I talk to in chat don't have too much of a hard time with Battle Pass. The biggest thing I hear is, it's just kind of a lot of work for not a lot of value. All I see here is that they, they didn't change the value, they, they didn't change the work, or they didn't change the amount of work, they just changed where the work was. Um, and then removing the knockouts, I get it, but I don't feel like 600 abilities, like, I don't know, I'd rather have multiple small milestones that I can do than one really, really, really long milestone. That's just me. I'd rather, if, if, if it was 300 abilities of two different roles, I might, over the course of a week, be able to have a little bit more fun. Now, that's just my thought. Some players might say, well, I don't have a roster that wide. But again, you have control, Scopely, slash Foxnext, slash idiots that run this game. You can make it fun. You can make it so that you can and can't use certain characters at any time. You can make it so that it's easy and engaging and people feel fun about it. Hell, you can even make it so that if you win a fight, you get a thousand gold. I know that sounds silly, right? A thousand gold? Who cares? I'm telling you, if you give me a thousand gold for winning an RTA fight, well, that creates a different problem of everybody trying to win RTA fights and uh, nobody, you know, trying to complete milestones, which, whatever. But at least you'll give me access to more gold or maybe even these training materials. Keep in mind. This one event that has gone up to nine level three training modules, right? This was 1,705 level three training modules. Then there was another 15 you could get. Well, we can't get those anymore, right? They're not here. They're, they're technically here under the assumption you're going to complete everything in the battle pass, which you might, but I don't know. It doesn't add up to me. So are these changes good? Mm -hmm, probably probably somewhat better but it's still not good yet the battle pass is not good yet rta is not good yet and one day in the future that might change but i'm waiting for that day and i'm sitting here in the present and i don't read this and feel any confidence about what's going to happen so as is usual, comment below, let me know how stupid I am, let me know, no, they're technically giving more and it's worthwhile and it's the most game, I don't give a shit, just say whatever you gotta say in the comments below, you know how it works. Um, I'm just disappointed again in them taking something that really, really, really had a good opportunity of being successful and, uh, you know, Fox nexting it. Have a good night, have a great day, I've been Tony Scangelo, and I'll catch you later.